I haven't done a video on Brenda Weltner um, yet because, quite frankly, there's just there's just too much garbage that I have to listen to and wade through uh, to really understand her point of view. And I don't like to do videos on people unless I really understand them. <clears throat> and I just haven't had the time. There's just too much going on with other people and too much going on in my own life. And so I haven't really done anything. And other people have done a really, really good job of exposing her. Um, I'll put some links to, to those people in my description. Uh, you can watch those for yourself. You know, and she exposes herself. So when people set dates, um, in some ways I actually I actually kind of admire them more than I admire the people who just throw out a you know a nebulous thing like soon. I mean when you set a date, you're putting yourself out there. You're really standing on something that you truly believe. As crazy and as evil and as whacked out as that is, at least you're standing for something. <laughs> and you have to be held accountable. Now once you're held, once we get to that date and it passes, if you're gonna if you're gonna waffle, and and be the ministry revealed Allen guy, well then I've then I really get angry. That's when I really start to lose it. So we're watching Brenda Weltner fail, as we all knew she would. Um, I told her back in the spring that her summer, you know, her summer of Israel going to war is gonna fail, and she laughed at me, and then got late into September and I'm like hey Brenda summer's ending you only got so much time left and she mocked me again you know as these people do you know while they're while they're putting their whole system together they're extremely arrogant they think they know everything and they're gonna tell everybody what you know what's real and what's true and they've got the whole thing figured out and if you even dare even dare to question them why well, who are you you little small person you mocker, you you non-Christian. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? So Brenda's now nearing the end of her time. She's had a nice little time here. She's had a little bit of fun. It's getting to the end. She's getting uncomfortable. She doesn't like what's going on. But let's listen to what she says here because here's my point in this video. It's not to point out <clears throat> that she's, she's a fool. It's to point out the absolute trickery and mind games that they have to play when they're caught with their hand in the cookie jar. I'm going to give you an update video today. Uh, all day yesterday I was waiting to hear from the Lord about anything that's new that I need to know. Um, a lot of people email me and send me texts and messages. Alright, so first of all I'll point out her body language and tone just like Alan, the psychopath at Ministry Revealed, every time he was wrong, he's just, well, hello, 14ers. He's all up. Uh, he's 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 up on his manic depress. You know, he's a. I think he's manic depressive. I think a lot of these people have mental issues. They're just they're just out of control, happy, and I think they're also acting. They want to show, hey, this is not bothering me at all, man. This is nothing. I expected this. I fully expected to possibly be wrong. Meanwhile, go look at your videos two months ago. You were telling everybody they're fools if they don't listen to you. But now it's, well, I kind of expected it. This is no big deal. Right? ...and stuff. You know, what's going on? What's happening? You know, are we going to um, be raptured this weekend? What's going on? And, you know, all I can say is, uh, I don't know. I've never been uh, to the end of the world before. <laughs> all I <laughs> so all of a sudden... You're not so sure, huh? All I know is what the Lord shows me, and I otherwise I know about as much as you do. Okay, so here's what she's done here. Setting it up so that, how dare you question anything, all I know is what the Lord has shown me. So what these people do is they run to their, they run to this whole, like, I'm a prophet, and God told me this, and if it doesn't come to pass the way God said... Or the way I said, well, who are you to question God? This is God. He he does what he wants. I'm just a, I'm just a humble messenger. Do you, do you realize how twisted that is? That's complete. That's basically saying being a false prophet is totally okay. So anyway, uh, yesterday I spent um, cleaning the chicken coop. I went in and did some garden cleanup in one of my greenhouses. I ironed some shirts, and the whole time I'm just going, you know, Lord, where are we in all of this? Where are we? Yeah, see, I'm just, it's all cool. It's good. I'm just living my life, talking to God like I always do. 
And thinking about the timeline that I've had, the studies that I've done in Revelation over the last three years, and really all the revelation I believe that the Spirit of the Lord has given me in that process. And so Brenda, if that was the Spirit of the Lord, you would have been right. And you were wrong. So it's not the Spirit of the Lord, it's the Spirit of something else. So I'm like, you know, Lord, um, uh, you know, it, there's something about this that it feels incomplete to me. I don't think we're actually there yet, and I don't know what to do about it, and I don't know where to go next. In other words, I'm now finding out I was wrong, as we all expected, and now I don't know what to say to people to save face and keep people watching. So I was just doing my work, okay, just... And, and really in an attitude of prayer. You know what, I can't even stand to listen to you anymore. I'm gonna to skip to the next thing um, where you, you do another psychological thing to people to try to make their minds. This is a Jerry Tony thing. This is what Jerry Tony did. Listen as she subtly tries to blame you who, was, who listened to her because you believed without really checking it out. I really hate changing dates, okay? I really do, okay, but we're we're, you know, we're going through this um, having to be led. We've gone as far as we know we see in scriptures, and now it's like the Lord has to lead us the rest of the way here, uh, because otherwise we don't know how to get there. We, we don't know. We can't find the path, okay? Lady, that, you just admitted that the Lord wasn't leading you before. Is, is that what you're saying? Because now we're done doing it on our own, and I guess the Lord's going to have to lead us from here on, because before... We were doing it on our own. I mean, what what does that gobbledygook even mean? <laughs> we can't find it unless he guides us through this. I think he's giving people dreams and visions to help us do that. And of course, whenever we hear someone's dream or vision, or even when someone is preaching a sermon on Sunday, or anybody is giving the word of God, uh, me, anybody, we always, always need to use our discernment about whether these things are true or not. So you have to exercise your own discernment. Nobody can do that for you. That's your job, okay? If you have the Holy Spirit, he will lead you, okay? See, notice the rebuking sort of attitude here, the sharpness to her voice, the, uh, the sternness with which she says what she says. All of a sudden now, you know, she gets this little attitude on her. You know, Brenda, <laughs> you're a good teacher of false doctrine, but you have a talent for teaching. Why don't you go and teach a class somewhere, like a math class somewhere that's more suited for you? Um, but, you know, she gets that rebuking tone in her voice that, you know, here's what she's really saying, guys. If you actually believe what I, Brenda, am saying to you and take it seriously and I end up being wrong, well then that's really on you because it's your job to discern. It's your job to figure out if things are right or wrong. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger from God. And God told me what to say. And even though it turned out to be false, it was still God. And God has his ways and I just don't understand them. So do you see how everything, no matter what happens with what Brenda predicts, she was right, because God just told her what to say, and for whatever reason, it didn't turn out the way she expected, but that's still not on her, that's on you. So Brenda, you're a false doc, you're a false prophetess, you're a false teacher. We now know that, if we didn't know it before, it's now staring you in the face, it's time for you to go. It is time for you to make a video where you say something along these lines. Hi everyone, I'm really sorry that I misled you with my false doctrines, my false predictions, and my false prophecies. I repent before my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and God my Creator. I beg your forgiveness and His so that He doesn't punish me for being a false prophet. I'm going to leave this video up forever and ever, but I'm going to take down all my other videos and burn them in the garbage. I pray that no one was misled or deceived too much by my words so that they are so that they are now on their way to hell or some other place in their lives because of what I did. But you must know right now I repent entirely of what I've done 
and I will go the other direction. I will make videos where I tell the truth. That's the next video you should make.